listeners to the 10th episode in a series of 12 episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel. There is a playlist dedicated to all the 12 questions from this paper. And take note that we've also done paper 1. Just check on our YouTube channel and check for that playlist. And if you find this video to be helpful, please consider liking it, sharing it, and also subscribing to our YouTube channel. So let us look at question 10, which is from Mood Transformation. Answer the all of this question on a sheet of graph paper. The vertices of triangle ABC are A 0, 0,4, B 0, 0,6, C negative 4,6 while the vertices of triangle A1, B1, C1 are A1, 4,0, B1, 6,0, and C1, 6,4. Question A, using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 1 unit on each axis, draw X and Y axis for X is greater or equal to negative 4 but less or equal to 8, then y is greater or equal to negative 3 but less or equal to 12. Draw and label triangle A, B, C and triangle A1, B1, C1. That's two marks. Question B. Describe fully a single transformation that maps triangle A, B, C onto triangle A1, B1, C1. Question C. The matrix. So this is the matrix. Maps triangle A, B, C onto triangle A2, B2, C2. Find the coordinates of A, B, and C2. All these are C2s. Then draw and label triangle A2, B2, C2. That's the manual two of sin. Then dim triangle A1, B1, C1 is mapped onto triangle A3, B3, C3 with vertices A3, 4,0, B3, 6,0, C3, negative 2,4. Draw and label triangle A3, B3, C3. Find the matrix representing the transformation or this transformation. So you will have all the questions. So the first question is asking us to use the scale. And we need to draw this. Once we draw these two triangles, we get the two marks. So we've been given the vertices. So just a matter of putting this on the graph paper. So, when you look at the graph paper, I've already labeled it so that we don't waste so much time. So, what is key is ensuring that you label clearly this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Then also take note of the interval. So, we have this. But what is key is one centimeter represent one unit. So, this standard D graph paper is two centimeter. So, meaning two centimeter should be equal to two units. Hence, we are increasing by the interval of one. 2, 2, if you notice it there. So take note of um, that this is very important and you follow the instruction. Once you do that, then it's just a matter now of um, just labeling this. So I'm going to use the lead ink just to make sure that this is clear for you. So we have A, which is uh, 0,4. So 0,4 is uh, here. So this is uh, M. Then you have B, 0, 0,6, which is at this point. Then you have C, negative 4,6. Negative 4,6 is at this point. So this is C. So once you have these points, you can use your ruler and join these points. But I'm going to just sketch. So I'm going to have a triangle like that. You can use your ruler. I'm just sketching. Then we have A1, which is 4,0. So it's this point, which is A1. Then we have B1, which is 6, 0, which is at this point. So this is B1. Then we have C1, which is 6, 4, which is at this point. So this is C1. Again, I'm going to use a sketch. You can use your ruler like that. Then you join these points. Then you form this triangle. So you notice that. I'm going to have a triangle like that. Once you do that, then you get these two marks. Question B. Describe fully a single transformation that maps triangle ABC on two triangle A1, B1, C1. 
So the first thing that you need to ask yourself is two key questions. So are all lengths and angles preserved? In this case, all the angles and the lengths are preserved. You see this angle and this angle, see? This one and this angle, they are just the same, they are preserved, and the area remains the same. So that's a yes. So the all lengths and angles are preserved, and the area is the same. So if the answer to these two questions is yes, we can only think of three possible answers. So we have um, translation, we have um, reflection, then we have rotations. These are the three possible answers where the angles are preserved, the lens are preserved, and the area is preserved. Then we need to choose among these three. So if it's translation, the image and the object are facing in the same direction. In this case, they're not facing in the same direction, so translation is out. So translation is out from here. Then reflection. Are these points equidistant from some point? And are they mirror of each other? In this case, they're not mirror of each other. So if this is a mirror, then this triangle is in the mirror of each other. They should be like this. So this side should face this side. So in this case, they're not because the triangles are facing in a different direction. So this is out. So we only mean with rotation. So if now it's the rotation, how can we describe rotation? So to describe rotation, we need to three things to describe fully rotation. So the first thing that we need, we need to know the center of rotation. Number two, the angle of rotation and the, the direction of rotation, which is whether clockwise or anticlockwise. So to describe rotation, we need to find the, the center. So to find the center, we need two things. We need the ruler and the compass. So once you get your compass, what you need to do is you need to pick two lines or two points that are not in the same line. So the first thing is if I pick A, I cannot pick B because they are almost they are lying in the same line. So they will pass through the same point. So pick A, join these two using a ruler, then make a perpendicular bisector. So perpendicular bisector is we are saying a line that is in this direction. So I'll use the arc, I'll make an arc this side and an arc this side, then another arc this side and another arc, then join the line that bisect this line in two half. So once I bisect that line, you discover that the line I'm going to draw will pass through the center, like in that. Then I also do the same for C, join C, which is in a different line, do like in these points. Then I do perpendicular bisector using the arc and this side, and I join that line. You notice that the line also pass through the 0, 0. So this, the line where these two are meeting is the center of flotation. Then you notice that if it's a center of flotation, we are... Now, moving from B to for us to get to this B through the center, this is a 90 degrees and this is the direction. So, what direction is that? So, that direction is the clockwise direction. So, to answer B now, it's clockwise, which is the direction, rotation, which is the type of transformation with center. 0, 0. Then we need to say the angle of rotation. So this is a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. Then once we do that, then we are good to go. So question C, we are given this matrix. Then which maps the triangle ABC on two triangle A2B2 C2. Then we have to find the coordinates of the new triangle. So we have this, which is the T matrix, then we need to multiply by X, then this will give us the image. So it's this image that we are looking for. So now, to find C, C is equal to, so the image we are looking for, it will be transformation matrix multiplied by the matrix C, X. So transformation matrix is given to us, is seen, we light it first, so it will be 1, 0, then 0, 2. Then we need to light the matrix of the object, which I'm calling X. So this is the object, so which is the initial triangle. So the initial triangle is this one. So we need to start with him. coordinate M. So this is coordinate A, then coordinate B, then coordinate C. So coordinate A is 0, 4. Coordinate B is 0, 6. Then coordinate C is negative 4, 6. 
So now at this point it's just a matter of now multiplying. So we're going to have now it will be 1 times 0, so you see 1 times 0 plus 0 times 4. Then we go next, so it will be now 1 times 0 plus 0 times 6. Then the last one will be 1 times negative 4 plus 0 times 6. Like that. Then we move to down now. It's this one. We multiply by this one and this one and this one. 0 times 0 plus 2 times 4. Then we are going to have 0 times 0. Then plus 2 times 6. Then we are going to have 0 times negative 4. Then plus 2 times 6. When you simplify this, we are going to end up with him. What is on top? You see, 0. Then again on top, here is him. Also 0. So this is 0. Then we have this one. It's negative 4. So we have negative 4. Then down here it will be 8. Then down it will be 12. Then it will be 12. So these are the coordinates of them. This is A2, then this is B2, then this is C2. So these are the coordinates that we are looking for. Once you do that, you are good to go and get these three marks. The next is for us to draw this on the graph and label it. So let me just go on the graph paper. So I'm going to use again the lead one. So we have the values. The first one is 0, 0,8. So 0, 0,8 is somewhere here. So this is A2. Then the next is 0, 0,12. So 0, 0,12 is somewhere here. So this is B2. Then of course we have negative 4,12. Negative 4,12 is somewhere here, which is C2. Then what we do is you just now join these points using your ruler. Then you're going to have this triangle. So once you do that, you have the three triangles. Once you do that, you get this one mark. Then question D. Triangle A1, B1, C1 is mapped on two triangles. A3, B3, C3 with vertices. So these are the vertices. Draw and label triangle A3, B3, C3. So we have that so it's just a matter of now drawing this one so if you're using your pencil your, your graph will look much more cleaner because i'm using the ink so you need to go to a a3 is 4 comma 0 so 4 comma 0 is at this point which is again a3 then we have b3 6 comma 0 which is again at this point which is b3 then we have c3 which is now negative 2 comma 4 negative 2 comma 4 which is in at this point so that's the point where the the shape is negative 2 comma 4 so this is the c3 then let me use the black one so you join these points so you are going to join to this point then use the again join this point so you make that triangle that you see in the black so once you make that triangle then you get this one mark then find the matrix representing this transformation so it's this matrix that you're looking for so we know what this is then we know what b1 and a1 are which is uh, these points so now we just need to solve this equation simultaneously so let us see, set up the same way we did for the for the other one. So this is now D. So for D, Loma numero 2, what we we'll do is transformation of the object will give us the image. So we are looking for T. That's what we're looking for. Now this T is A, B, C, D matrix. And multiply by the object. Now the object will let them know what the object is. This matrix, which is 4, 0, 6, 0, then 6, 4. This is 6, 4 here. That's what we are given. So if you notice, these are the 
that were given so now we just go there and light them so we are going to have this is a1 b1 c1 so what is a1 so a1 is 4 comma 0 then we have 6 comma 0 then we have 6 comma 4 then that's it we multiply it then to give us a3 c3 or b3 c3 like that so we are given the points of these so these are the points that we are given here let me just screen it so that we are able to see it so this is what we are given so these are the points that we are given so we are 4 comma 0 6 comma 0 then negative 2 comma 4 so we come again and use these numbers here and then solve simultaneous equation so what we have is 4 0 then 6 0 then we have negative 2 then 4 that's the c so just pair them so that you know how they are before we start solving so this is a3 then this is b3 and this is c3 then we solve so again we just multiply now at this point here we just start multiplying it's this one multiplied by this one so we're going to have now a times 4 is 4a plus b times 0 is a 0 so it just becomes 4a then we are we move next so it will be now next it will be a times 6 which is multiplied by this one a times 6 is 6a plus b times 0 is a 0 so we just have 6m then next it will be a times 6 is 6m then b times 4 it will be 4b then we move down now under cd so it will be c times 4 which is 4c then d times 0 is just 0 so 0 plus 4c is 4c next it will be cd which will be 6 times c so it will be 6c then plus d times 0 which is 6c then next it will be 6c because c times 6 is 6 then plus 4d this equals 4 6 negative 2 0 0 then 4 then at this point we pair them because if these two are equal it means this one is equal to this one so it will just be 4a is equal to 4 then we solve 4m by dividing so a is equal to 1 then we go next since this is c then this is 0 so it tells me is 4c is equal to 0 so c is equal to 0 so we found a and c then what we need to find is just now b and d d so to find b i can use this one then equate this one to that so what it will be now is to be 6 a plus 4 b is equal to negative 2 then we know what a is a is 1 so it will be now 6 times 1 plus 4 b is equal to negative 2 so uh, 4 b is equal to negative 8 so the moment this one crosses the equal sign it becomes a negative then I divide by 4, I divide by 4, so this tells me that B is equal to negative 2. Then I just need to find now D, I know what C is, so using this one, so now it will be 6C plus 4D equals 4. Then C is 0, because C is 0, so now it's just a matter of now saying uh, 4D is equal to 4. Then I divide by 4 I divide by 4 so D is equal to 1 so we found D or the values that we're looking for so now ends what will be the matrix D loma numero 2 ends equals T is equal to A is 1 B is negative 2 then C is 0 then uh, D is a 1 so this is the matrix that we are looking for once we do that then we are good to go